Welcome to this tutorial on creating a 3D button in Corel Draw in three simple steps. First, we're going to create an ellipse with a fountain fill, duplicate the ellipse and rotate it, and then add a symbol to the 3D button. Finally, we're going to output the button for the web. So let's get started. From the file menu, I'm going to select New. Now, Corel Draw has a number of different parameters that we can set up for creating a new document. Because this is for the web, I'm going to use a preset destination of web. What you'll see here is it's automatically going to change my unit of measures to pixels. My primary color mode will automatically change to RGB. And of course, the rendering resolution at 96 DPI, which is typically the resolution for websites. I'll click OK, and this will create the new document for me. Now the first step I want to do is create the ellipse. So I'll select the ellipse tool, and if I hold the control key down, that will act as a constraint, and it will allow me to draw a perfect circle. Click and drag to create my circle, and now I want to do a linear fountain fill. A linear fountain fill is available through my fill dialog box over here, or I can select the interactive fill, which will allow me to do the same thing. I'm simply going to click and drag across the ellipse, now I want this to go from black to red. Because this control point is still selected, I simply need to click on the red and that will color that fill. The next step is to duplicate the ellipse. But before I do, I'd like to show you something on the right hand side here. This is where the dockers uh, reside within Corel Draw. I, I have the object manager as my top docker and this is the hints docker. The hints docker is a great resource if you're looking to learn how to use some of the tools within Corel Draw. And it will actually change depending on the tool that I have selected. If for some reason your docker is not available on the right hand side, then from the help menu, you can select Hints, alternatively, underneath the Windows menu, go to Dockers, and in the Docker flyout, you'll see the Hints Docker listed there. Okay, let's get back to our project. With the ellipse selected, Control D will allow me to duplicate it. And the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this slightly smaller. Holding the Shift key down will allow me to size from the center inwards. Click and drag. And then the final step to give this a 3D illusion is to rotate this ellipse by anything greater than about 90 degrees. I'm going to go to my angle of rotation on the interactive property bar, and I'm going to select 180 for this. And there you have it, creating a 3D button. Now I want to add a little bit of an embellishment to this button. So from the text menu, I'm going to go down to insert symbol characters. From the font drop down, I want to select webdings. And on the WebDings fonts, I'm going to bring out this one here. Position this in the center. And now I simply have to left click on the white to change the fill and right click on this X to remove the outline. Marquee select by clicking and dragging with my pick tool. And then from the file menu, I'm going to export for the web. Now the export for web dialog box allows me to select different formats that I can export my objects as. Here is the original version. This is a GIF version, PNG and JPEG. Both the PNG and the GIF support transparencies. The advantage of using a PNG over a GIF is GIF is a standard 256 color, whereas the PNG file format, I have the ability of changing my color depth. So under color mode, I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to change this to RGB 24 bit color. And then click Save As and give this a file name. And we're done. Hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial of creating a three dimensional button in Corel Draw. This tutorial, as well as many others, can be found in the book Bring It Home with Corel Draw, a guide to in-house graphic design, available through Corel Sales or Amazon.com.